Man, Rooster, it's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Arr, arr, arr. Welcome back, people. Thanks for coming. Do you know? This is that show. I'm Bishop. I'm Rooster. And today, we're making a left turn. <laughs> we're turning. Do I, need to, do I need to use my turn signal? It's like that dance. Special Ed Drivers. Drivers? Special Ed. <laughs> It's like that family got a clip, have you seen that? With the Asian woman driver, and she's like, oh, I need to turn Chevin Range over to your right. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should have you fucking dying. We're talking about special ed drivers who don't know what the fuck they're doing. I have no idea. I have I, no idea. Having to go back to physical school this semester up in Denver, so I've been driving an hour to Denver every day. <clears throat> you should go drive for a NASCAR. Taking a toll, <laughs> toll on my mental capacity, dude. You 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 have to you have to try out for NASCAR because <laughs> you're probably pretty good at driving right. by now. <laughs> right, dude. It's crazy because the same thing happened to me when I used to when I used to drive in person before all this COVID shit happened, obviously, where it was like. I literally notice how much of a more angry person I become just because of the fact that I have to drive to fucking Denver every day with all these fucking idiots. I literally, I was making the turn off of E470 on I-25 and there are those two lanes, right? And one goes left and then one splits off into a Y and the other are two straight. There's a semi truck in the right lane right next to me. I'm probably right behind the cab of the truck. He realizes last second that he's trying to make this left, and he fucking whoa, pulls right in front of me. I fucking stomped on my brakes, smoked the fuck out of my tires. Whoa! I was like, oh shit, I don't know if he didn't, I must have just been too small on my little vibe. Well, he can't see you. Exactly. But, fucking stomped on my brakes. Hardest I ever have probably in my fucking life. <laughs> because this semi truck decided to make a late left turn. I was so fucking mad, dude. So mad. People oh are goodness. fucking stupid. Like, that semi truck driver could have just killed me and fucking <clears throat> spent his life in prison. Well, I mean, perfect example. I'm going into I'm going into a town. I almost said where I was going. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Discretion. I'm going into town and I'm driving from where we live to a metro area. <laughs> <laughs> going down the highway and where we live, it's a two lane highway, right? <clears throat> and it's two vehicles and there, I've got plenty of time. I got plenty of space and I see the first vehicles making a right off to this road, right? They slow down, that's fine. The car behind them, the SVU behind them, slows down. <clears throat> they don't slow down quite enough. They kind of go around the vehicle that's turning, right? I have never broke speed yet. I'm still just doing the speed limit. And I literally have, a, they slow down so much that I almost went right in the back end of oh, them. Oh, shit. And I'm talking, they had... I don't know, I'm gonna say 800 feet before I even got there. So that means that when they were going around that vehicle, they weren't accelerating. They just went around it. Fucking pussy. And oh my God, it. it's one of those things where it's like, it, it happens in a split second. You look down and you look up and you're like, oh my God! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my God! Yeah. But yeah, it's like, you don't slow down Dude. on the highway. Seriously, though. You go. It's, you it's go. Like, it's like when people are getting ready to exit the highway, and they fucking slow down to 35 <laughs> while they're still in the fucking lane. It's like, that's what the exit lane is for. It's for the deceleration. You don't need to fucking be going 25 in my, the fucking highway. Mine is the yield lanes. Yeah. Because right? you know when you go up and you turn in and people see the yield sign, but they just blow right by it? Yep. And then they get right into like five or six fucking cars that are right there. <laughs> yeah. And they got their fucking turn signal on. Like, that yield sign wasn't for those fucking people. It was <laughs> right. for your dumb ass to know that there's traffic going by. For real, though. What are you doing? Seriously. You know, and then the worst, the absolute worst is when you're cruising along and you see your exit coming up on a highway, right? And you're like, all right, I got to get over to the far right lane. I'm going to pass this, you know, off ramp, on ramp. And then the next one I got to get off on. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, right? 
But then the person that's coming on the fucking highway after you go under the bridge is doing like 10 miles an hour with their fucking <laughs> yeah. bunker on. Like, come that motherfucker. Like, go. If you're trying to get over here, <laughs> you gotta be on the fucking gas. Go. Nobody's getting on the highway at 10 miles an hour. <laughs> like, like, what the oh fuck are you doing? Gosh. Oh my One gosh. One time, I'm coming back from snowboarding at Keystone, so we're headed down I-70, headed back into town. And the fucking bitch in front of me, for some reason, <laughs> felt that it was necessary to give 200 feet between her and the car in front of her. We're in dead stop traffic, <clears throat> bumper to bumper, but the bitch in front of me is leaving 200 feet between her and then I'm like, what is this bitch doing? God damn it. So same kind of thing. I look down for one second, change the radio and look back up. This bitch is dead stopped on the fucking brakes. With no one in front of her but two feet. I slammed on the fucking brakes all my snowboarding gear from the back, my snowboard. I'm surprised I didn't fly forward and cut my fucking head off. All of it booed into my fucking dash. Burn! Me and Graham driving a slam on the brakes. I had to stop this far from this bitch's trunk. And and she's got ten car lengths in front of her. I wanted to climb out of that fucking car and drag her out and just oh fucking goodness. berate her. Some people... I mean, road rage, road rage exists because people don't know the rules of the road. And, and, I, and I don't want to say it's just young drivers. Oh, it's because everybody. I can Even, remember... We've all ex experienced Oh, yeah. That, you know? Oh, yeah. I, so this, <laughs> this happened years ago, but I, I... And I won't tell the whole story, but I was on my motorcycle... And this dude literally cut me off. I, I'm going through an intersection. It's green light for me, right? And it's a red light for him. He's turning right. Okay. And I'm in, I'm in a very densely populated, or I'm in a city, okay? okay? And he turns in front of me. And literally. How fast are you going? I'm maybe doing 30, 35. Okay. Right? I'm doing whatever the speed limit okay. obviously is. And Obviously, we don't break laws around here. So. <laughs> but his rear bumper missed my front tire. His rear bumper missed my front tire, I'm telling you, by like two inches. Really? And that's with me oh locking up God. front and rear brake, and I'm standing On up. On fucking motorcycle? And I'm riding it. <clears throat> Dude. He turns right onto the street, right? And we go through two more <clears throat> intersections, and I'm just behind him. And he stops at the next red light. And I got off my motorcycle, <laughs> I swung that door open, and I tried to pull this dude out, and I didn't realize he's like 80 years old. Oh, <laughs> you got a hand on his shirt? Oh, I had more than that. Like, oh. I had more than I was trying to take him out of this <laughs> truck. <laughs> and his wife is screaming, you're going to give him a heart attack. <laughs> and he's buckled in, and I didn't realize he had his seatbelt on. I was going to beat that old man. <laughs> Oh it was my bad. god! It was bad. It was back in my younger days. Yeah. I was, I was, I was actually, uh, actually, I was about. No, I was younger than you. I was younger than you at the time. But yeah, that was really when my fuse. Yeah. Was there was no Dude. fuse. <laughs> that, that is something that I mean, always because my dad's been driving motorcycles that he's kind of instilled this in me. But people who disrespect motorcyclers on the road and don't realize like. The, the smallest action that it could take to kill that person mm -hmm. drive me fucking crazy. Yep. When I'm in traffic, I will give five car lengths between me and a motorcycle guy because I know if anything happens to him, like, I could kill him in a fucking second. Yep. And like you said, people don't give a shit. They'll be whipping in front of motorcycles and stopping right on their fucking asses. Mm -hmm. And nobody, if you haven't ridden a motorcycle or have experience with it, you don't really understand what? how vulnerable, like, those people can be. To go back to our topic of the episode today is, like, this: these, these people, I mean, they need to go back to driving school. They need to go back to driving school. It's too easy to get your license. <clears throat> I... <laughs> it's I, I, gotta be. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't disagree in a lot of respects. I, I, I won't. Uh, the, the other problem is, is that you there's just no accountability. There's no accountability. And they, they want to say that there's all these strict laws and this and that with insurance and everything. No, there's, there's no accountability. There's none. Um, <laughs> it's just... It, and you look at all the young people, and I won't say that as a generalization, but there's way too many young people that their parents put them in a 
50, 60, 70, 80, 100 thousand dollar vehicle. Right, right. And send them on like, away. It's safe. They'll be safer. It's safe. <laughs> but it's not. It's and not. Maybe a little bit safer for them. You know, but I, <laughs> when, I, when I grew up, I bought my vehicles. Yeah. Right? I bought my vehicles and uh, I raised my kids to do the same thing because once you buy it, you appreciate, you appreciate the it. shit out of that exactly. thing. Exactly. And you are watching everybody because you're yeah. like, if this thing breaks, I don't know if I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the difference. When, as soon as I turned 16, my parents let me drive the Hummer. Okay. So I didn't get to experience that true in the value. Wagon. Yeah, <laughs> but it was because they were like, if anything ever happened, you'd be safe in the Hummer rather compared to like a little beater. But that's how I ended up fucking trying to drift the Hummer around. You know the gym over down on the. Yep. On, I yep. guess we shouldn't specify, but there's that gym and there's that little island. Did I ever tell you about the story about me? Oh, yeah, we did a whole episode. Okay, okay. Oh, crash yeah. control. Oh, yeah, crash control. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I blew out the front tire of that whole Hummer and shit. And once they started making me drive a little piece of shit, and they were like, if you fuck this up, you won't be driving right. at all. That literally changed my whole mentality where it was like, I need to protect this car. Mm -hmm. This car is my life. Without this, I can't get around. I can't do anything. So you're definitely right. Once you are kind of forced to pay for your own vehicle and that type of stuff, and you really oh understand, yeah, you appreciate the you're like, <laughs> you're like if I lose this, you appreciate the I don't shit got shit, shit. <laughs> right? And I don't think enough of that happens anymore. I mean, I, I I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that where we're at because we got a lot of working class families around us, and so I, I would say a lot of that does exist out here. But that you still have the entitled kids that are running around, yeah, here. and not just kids. Entire Not just kids. In general, I, I, yeah. I mean, I've had plenty of people cut me off here in this little town, and I'm like, "You have got to be kidding yeah. me!" Yeah, you you're literally on two lane roads. Right. This is not the city. This yeah, is not. Exactly. We don't live in the city. But it's still because it's not city. It's still much better than once you get out up towards the Denver and the big city and stuff. Oh know? God, that's what I'm saying. I, I get anxiety. S seriously, I get anxiety I when I have to drive. It that. makes me an angry person. <laughs> like, like I'm pissed off for the whole fucking day <clears throat> once I have to deal with people driving. I mean, driving. everybody could be driving along and I'll shut the damn radio off and everybody's like, what are you doing? Boys are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I got to listen and watch everything. And they're like, what are you talking about? Right. And I'm like, do you want to go home? <laughs> right. Do you want to go home? You're like, we could die right here. I don't these, know if you realize. These people do not care. <laughs> yeah. They do not care. Fucking <laughs> Jim's going to get to work one way or another. He will T-bone my ass. <laughs> they do not care. It's just weird. I mean, I think more people, I think more people should realize that they're not the only ones on the road. They need to take more precautions and use your damn turn signal. Yes. What in the hell? How much easier would it be if we just had little signs in our window that you could click buttons and be like, thanks for letting me over. Or like, <laughs> fuck off. Like, I wish so much that I could just like send messages to other cars so I could be like, get off of my fucking ass. <laughs> we'll have to do another whole episode of mischievous shit that was done in vehicles because <laughs> yeah. I've got oh so many stories <laughs> right one including jelly filled donuts so <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to hear that I'm but sure you guys are too <laughs> if you guys get road rage because somebody else isn't paying attention let us know down in the comments down below like share and subscribe Do put it in front of your friends we want to hear it I, I people are just they don't care they have an objective, exactly. and they don't care who is in their way. They're going right. to do it. They're going to do it. They don't care. And that is not okay. That is right. not okay. For real, though. But unless the next round's on you, we got to go. Have to go. Cheers, everybody. Thanks, guys. <laughs> that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to, you know, that show. <laughs>